Here is your latest end time news from trancatnight.blogspot.com. My good friends get to Trancat Night on a daily basis. We are a one-stop website for all of the day's church and end time news. We're keeping you up to date on all the latest current events as we head closer to the fruition of the third secret of Fatima. I'd like to thank all of those who are new to Trancat Night. I also want to thank those who continue to pray for this apostolate, who continue to share information on articles, and who continue to share word of Tradcat Night to your friends, family members, and church members. Now, in today's shorter segment, we have War Drums News. China deploys 150,000 troops to North Korea border. There's also a report, I believe it's out on Drudge, suggesting that the United States is going to be moving some personnel into the area as well. Now, the Chinese army has deployed 150,000 troops to the North Korean border to prepare for preemptive attacks after the United States has dropped airstrikes on Syria. President Trump's missile strike on Syria on Friday was widely interpreted as a warning to North Korea. And now China, left shocked by the airstrikes, have deployed medical and backup units from the People's Liberation Army Forces to the Yalu River the Cho Sun is reporting. The troops have been dispatched to handle North Korean refugees and unforeseen circumstances such as the prospect of preemptive attacks on North Korea, the news agency has said. Meanwhile, the United States Navy has moved the USS Carl Vinson aircraft carrier strike group from Singapore to North Korea after the country conducted more missile testing. And then more breaking news from the past uh, half day or so. Uh, Trump orders military advisors to prepare plans for North Korea strike. Uh, President Trump has ordered his military advisors to be ready with a list of options to smash North Korea's nuclear threat. And so it's going to be going back and forth between North Korea uh, and the United States on this issue. So again, we've got wars and rumors of wars uh, Matthew 24 news here picking up. Uh, Putin, of course, uh, in, in related news, I saw on Drudge as well, on other alternative media outlets, suggesting that the United States will do a large-scale false flag in Syria and blame it on Assad and or Russia. So a lot going on. Um, so many related articles. War drums, again, Trump warning the North Korea a government uh, that they are looking for trouble if they mess with the United States and that the U.S. will solve the problem with or without China. So, my good friends, we've got to continue to pray the rosary. Uh, I would say keep your eye on the Ukraine area, as Father Malachi Martin had alluded to, in terms of the final maybe trigger point uh, between U.S. NATO forces, I'm sure United States will be cranking up in that area as well. Again, the backdrop is to have a formalized humanity. It's religious in nature. They want to get everyone to submit to the new world religion. Of course, we're very close to the arrival of the false prophet and antichrist Maitreya. Again, continue to spread these videos uh, out and about to your friends. You can follow Trad Cat Night on Twitter. Search Trad Cat Night. Make sure you subscribe to Trad Cat Night right now for all the latest uh, videos, information, news, radio shows. You can follow me on Facebook. Search Eric Gajewski. Look for the Double Headed Eagle. There's also a new Facebook group, Traditional Catholic, a little less than two weeks old, about 5,500 members. You can post your own material material there i do moderate of course but uh, everyone seems to be enjoying it uh, thus far a good way for you to interact uh, with other catholics who are more or less seeing the, th the same as i see things and that of course is following what archbishop lefebvre and father hess had taught that vatican II simply is not representative of the catholic faith and uh Eventually, we're going to have a formalized one-world religion. Get to my friend Chris Gagne's prepping website, FatimaFoods.ThriveLife.com. Uh, by the way, I also want to thank uh, Kevin LeClerc on Facebook, who's been helping me spread word of that group, Traditional Catholics. So thank you, Kevin, for your efforts. Along the right-hand side of the website, TradCatNight.blogspot.com. 
It's a plethora of information. Please spend time there. Continue to keep me in prayer. If you have news tips, articles, videos, blogs of your own, send them to me at Apostle of Mary at hotmail.com. And lastly, folks, in this information war, I do need financial assistance. And at this point, if I can, especially for those in the United States uh, and Canada, please do uh, send your financial contributions in uh, either the form of cash, check, or money order. Your inquiries can be sent to Apostle of Mary at hotmail.com. You, of course, can still use the PayPal uh, button, but the preferred method at this point is cash check or money order. For those who are international, though, you do have to go uh, more or less the PayPal route unless you want to do a money order. My good friends, I hope you all continue to enjoy the content at Trad Cat Night. Make sure you spread your wings in faith and hope. Remember in this hour, very few see clearly. So if you find yourself uh, as a quote-unquote traditional Catholic and your friends just don't see what you're seeing, and the things that we've been saying here at Trad Cat Night, it's because, even as our Lord warned in these end times, very few would see clearly and very few would be holding the faith. My good friends, keep your wings spread in faith and hope. Ave Maria.